Hello and thank you so much for joining me. It's been a really hot day here, but now um, half past six in the evening and it's a very pleasant temperature. I'm just not coping with this up and down temperature that we're having at present. Ah, yes, one minute you need your thermals, the next minute you're stripping off. Well, sort of. So, I'm following on from the piece that I posted on Friday. Can you make somebody love you? And I have to say there have been one or two interesting replies. One, I struggle to get my head round, but others, they really touched me. And I want to think about, can you change to love somebody from a friendship? Or can you move from a loving relationship to a friendship? And I think it's very, very much dependent on the people involved and both parties have to be singing from the same hymn sheet. Um, I have to say the moving from friendship to a loving relationship, I can think of nobody better to exemplify this than my parents. They met when they were eight years old. My dad was a cub and my mum was a brownie. And my dad, his mum had a corner grocery shop and he used to be sent to the market to sell lucky bags of mixed sweets and he had to stand oops, on the corner shouting, lucky bags to a penny, lucky bags to a penny. And apparently he hated doing it. I'm not surprised. But he hated it even more when he saw my mum coming out of the corner of his eye. He would not do any shouting then. <laughs> but they began as friends and their friendship, friendship developed through to become what was, as far as I'm concerned, a really good example of a loving relationship. <sighs> mum happily did what mum could do, dad happily did what he could do, and they supported each other, they were there for each other, and they sang from the same hymn sheet about bringing me up most of the time <laughs> but their love was i presume developed over the years um so it is possible now i don't think there are many people who meet at the age of eight certainly i have friends who met at secondary school um, I'm no example, but I met my husband at secondary school as well. But it can be done. But the main thing is that when you're trying to develop beyond a friendship, you really need to get to know what makes the other person tick. Not just what's his favourite drink, what's his favourite music, blah 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 you really need to know what their essence is and the more you know of this the better it becomes a problem when one of the pair is perfectly happy to carry on on a friend's basis and does not want it to change whereas the other 
really loves the person presumably hasn't told them that until when they do they are told no they don't want this relationship to develop and I have to say I, I've experienced that in the not too distant past um, I met somebody but I, I said look I really only want this to be on a friendship basis yep yep that's fine but I picked up the signs quite quickly that it wasn't fine um, and so I said, look, you know, I, I think that we need to draw a veil over this. Oh, no, let's get engaged. Whoa. No. Thank you very much, but no. Um, I would rather stop seeing you because I think that if I carried on seeing you, then I would probably be giving you the wrong message that maybe if you keep whining, dining me, taking me out places, looking after me, treating me nicely, that I might succumb and fall hopelessly in love. It didn't happen. But when it goes the other way, a divorce, I mean, it's one of the most awful things there is. But there are apparently some couples who can do it they just stop loving each other they go back to almost being friends and they seem to carry on through um and all seems to be well and they co-parent quite happily quite easily they help each other out whereas others i presume if it's just a one-sided decision that one person has, for whatever reason, decided that enough is enough, they're abandoning ship, then friendship becomes difficult. Especially as, if they do what mine did, he just packed up, went whilst I was at work, and I collected my son from school and had to tell him and then collected my other son he'd been down to London for a job interview and I had to tell him yeah so it really is not a set thing no relationships are there's not one model that fits everybody despite what somebody tried to assure me was the case in the, the messages it's not like that it really isn't so on that note I'm leaving these beautiful pink flowers there's not much color left in the garden at present so I had to come and sit here but thank you so much for joining me take care choose your friends carefully and choose those that you love. Try not to fall just head over heels and come tumbling out at the other end. Who am I to say what's right, what's wrong? It's down to each individual. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>